Hey Assassins, this is Wheel and I'm back for episode number 5 of how to build Hawkins Middle School from of course Stranger Things in Minecraft. In this video I will teach you guys how to build the Headmaster's Office which I'm currently stood in and we'll also be darting off, no pun intended, <laughs> this way to build the girls bathroom as well. So not many rooms to do today but if we get this section done we can call this side, the left side of the school, pretty much completed until we have to work at the back there for the canteen and kitchen. So it's going to be an awesome episode. I hope you can stay tuned until the very end. Let's grab the bits and bobs we need and get started. So to get the ball rolling for today's episode, let's grab some brown wool, some quartz bricks and a block of quartz. Now what we want to do first of all is take our quartz bricks, go to where we ended this wall here, so where we separated the reception room from the staff room, follow this white terracotta wall along, and bring the quartz bricks from this wall along until you're next to this window and this door. So in the middle of it, just here. We build this all the way up until the ceiling. Well, the ceiling height in our case, which is just about quartz bricks as well. So about here. Uh, then we actually go ahead and take our brown wall. We fill up this floor with brown wall for two layers, of course, because we need to line up with the door. And over here for the girls bathroom, we take block of quartz and we stack it up for two as well. So let's go ahead and fill these two rooms in with their floors ready to go. All right guys, so I have a lot of materials in my hot bar at the moment. We're gonna grab a composter, spruce trap doors, spruce wood stairs, a hopper, because we're gonna use that as a pun. And we're also gonna grab a skeleton skull, again for the pun. Spruce wood slabs, stripped spruce wood, uh, dark oak wood stairs, and a bookshelf as well. Let's go ahead and drop into the far left corner of our headmaster's office, so the one closest to the reception. Place a composter here with a spruce trap door on top. You want to leave a three block gap between this and the next unit, which is going to be made up of stripped spruce wood for one, two, three, four, five. On this fifth one, we bring this right up to the top of the roof, just like so. Now we want to go ahead and dart back down to about here. And we just build that along so there's like a one block gap between these two now we can go ahead and take bookshelves for the four up here over here place uh let's go three in the corner one two three like so and then the final one just there with a spruce trap door on top as well also fold a spruce trap door down from this top bookshelf on the left side that's looking great okay the next thing we need to do is take our dark oak wood stairs and build the headmaster's desk now this is a little bit awkward because we want to put these upside down and not like facing normally for like a you know a chair or something so we're gonna to have to use some stripped spruce wood to represent these so what we'll do is we'll go along until we reach the fourth block from here one two three four and then we actually want to go ahead and place a block here this is going to be our marker one and then we'll start to build our desk so we'll go one two upside down steps then we'll go along for three one two three and then we'll go into here and we'll sort of bend it back round. One, two, like so. So we're a block away from this window over here, like that. Remove that block now, and then you can take your spruce wood stairs, place one here, with two spruce trap doors folded up, one on both sides. So now we can go ahead and take our spruce wood stairs and build the chairs that are gonna go here for the two officers to have that conversation uh, with the three boys here. So we're gonna go to the door, go to the right side of the door, closest to the composter, and go one, two, and on three, place your stair just here. Now leave a block gap between the two chairs. And for my second chair, I'm going to use this as my hopper reference. So I'm going to stick my hopper just there. Of course, if you don't want the reference, just use a normal chair as well. Surrounding this hopper, I'm just going to place two trap doors, one up behind it, one closest to the headmaster's desk, like so. Then I'm going to shift click or crouch click and place a skeleton skull facing towards the seating arrangement over here. Now for the seats and whatnot in this corner, first things first, we need to make a cabinet that goes over here. So we're going to take our stairs again. We're going to go one, two, three, and then one, two, three, directly opposite. And then we'll take our spruce wood slabs over the top. And then we'll build a three block sofa just here. One, two, three. So just before the window, like so. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Back across here, place two upside down spruce wood steps like that under that big unit just for a little bit of extra detail and then if you want to place another spruce trap door behind this chair 
just to give it a back and a bit of extra detail, feel free. Okay, I think I've used all the materials I can right now. So hopefully we won't have to grab them again. But uh, let's go ahead and grab some more materials anyway. Awesome. So we are now going to take ourselves a jungle trapdoor, polished andesite, polished andesite stairs, an iron trapdoor, an oak trapdoor, a flower pot, grey carpet, blocks of iron, and a dead bush. We're going to take our jungle trapdoors and place them along the front of this cabinet for four blocks. One, two, three, four. Folding up with the handles facing towards the sky. And then we'll place another two just here with the handles facing downwards, like so. Just because it looks cool. That's kind of the only reason. <laughs> then we'll stick an oak trap door over here on this bookshelf. A flower pot just here with a dead bush in like so. Then we'll make our andesite unit over here. So this is actually the trolley that normally holds the TV. So we'll place two andesite blocks here. An upside down stair just there. And one just the opposite side, like so. Cool. Oh, I've grabbed the grey carpet. We don't actually need this just yet because we haven't got the materials to make the TV. So keep this one available, but we're not going to use it just at the moment. The next thing we'll do though is place a four block cluster of iron just here. And then two iron trap doors on top of it, like so. Okay, I'm going to go get the TV materials. I'll be right back. Right, so for the TV, we'll grab ourselves black stained glass panes. Sorry, black stained glass. I'm so used to saying panes that I say it for everything now. So just black stained glass, a dark prismarine, a stone button, and of course the grey carpet. Let's place a black stained glass block here. Dark prismarine to the right of it with a button on front. And then we'll place two grey carpet across the top, like so. Next, grab yourself some dark oak wood leaves, a warped sign, an item frame, paintings, and a book and quill. Let's place our two leaves here above our dead bush. Then we'll stick an item frame to the left of that um, plant just there with an actual painting in the item frame like that for like a calendar effect. We'll stick a one by two painting just here above the composter. So you might need to break the uh, the wall behind it like so. I'm just going to replace the wall with my, uh, <laughs> with my leaves there. And then over here we need to add in some paintings as well. So there's actually another one by two here just kind of diagonally up from the uh, the iron. Let's change that one up, get a different one. There we go. So let's just switch out the uh, the wall there. And then a block away from this one, so just here, there's actually a one by one and then a one by two that goes along the side. Well, so a two by one even. So we'll go knock this through like so. And then we'll replace that one back in. And then we should be able to, there we go, make that just there. Use whichever paintings you see fit to use. It's up to you guys. For our warped signs, we'll place them on the front of this iron. Second row down on all of these, place a open and closed bracket for like a handle to the file cabinet. So this is probably where the very, very naughty students, their names are all in this like file cabinet there, so the headmaster can keep an eye on them. <laughs> then we'll stick an item frame here in front of the headmaster with a book and quill also in there like so. And is that all the materials for this section? Just taking a last look, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so we can finish this room up with final materials. So let's take ourselves a spruce door, birch trap doors, an end rod, and some acacia trap doors to finish off the headmaster's office. Place a spruce door behind the headmaster's chair, just to make it a little bit more grand. An end rod goes to the right, if we're facing this way, or the left, if you're the headmaster, just here, with an a uh, birch trap door on top of it just for a little lamp like so I'm gonna face the handles towards the uh, item frame finally the acacia trap doors go eight blocks in total along the windows with the handles facing down for like a uh, shutter just like so awesome now moving on to the girls bathroom all right then guys so to get us started on the girls bathroom we will take some pink concrete or concrete of your guys choice i'm only using pink because of my color blindness it's super, super easy to see because it's super bright. Uh, stone buttons, iron doors, smooth quartz slabs, iron trap doors, hoppers, not for a pun this time, uh, polished andesite stairs, cauldrons, and some prismarine brick stairs. Pink concrete is going to go on the back wall over here, so the one that's adjacent to the staff room. We'll go to here, the second sort of row up and second one in, and build one, two, three blocks out like so. Now we'll do this along until we're a block away from the other wall. Like that. So we have five of these rows like so. 
Now I'll drop underneath these and place two smooth quartz slabs on each of them. Oops. Uh, like so. And then on top as well. Oh, sorry. All of them. Not just the two. Let's go three as well. And then on top as well. Oh, I keep placing them in the wrong spots. There we go. Cool. Now we can go ahead and stick stone buttons on the front of each of these. And then we can stick our doors on as well. Whichever way your doors face, don't worry too much. They're going to go a little bit screw with anyway. So uh, it's up to you guys how you want to place these. Let's stick our hoppers in the back of these toilets. That one's a double decker toilet. Um, and then we'll stick iron trap doors on top of them as well, just for a little bit of extra detail. Like so. Cool. Now we can take ourselves our... Uh, let's go for our polished anisite stairs and use these for hand dryers. So we'll go two blocks away ba basically from these doors. So count this one as a block, then this one, and then we'll start here. So we're going to go to the second level up like so. One there, and then a block away, another one just there. I'm going to place a button here and a button here, and then iron trap doors on top of them for the hand dryers. Exactly the opposite way round, but still the same. So just zoom across. I'm going to place another one here and another one here as well. Again, same design like so. Super simple, but looks good. And now we can make the sinks. So we're going to make the sink arrangement by placing two cauldrons here, a prismarine brick stair, cauldrons, prismarine brick stair, cauldrons, and then a final prismarine brick stair, just like so. And now we can grab some new materials. Okay, so we've grabbed ourselves some white stained glass panes. Panes this time, not just a glass block. And I'm just getting confused. Uh, tripwire hooks, a composter, a spruce trapdoor, banner patterns, or even paper uh, for your toilet paper. And then we'll grab some item frames as well. Place these on the left side, middle blocks of all of these cubicles, uh, like so. And then stick your banner patterns in like this. Boom. Nice one. Though with extra detail, but it looks great. Then we'll stick ourselves on this uh, row of uh, quartz bricks just here. Placing one, two white stained glass panes above each of the sinks, like so. Drop down under them and place tripwire hooks. And by the way, if you want to go ahead and grab yourself some water, so just some buckets of water down here, you can go ahead and fill up the cauldrons as well, just for some extra detailing, like so. Awesome. Finally, add a little bin in the corner down here with a composter and a spruce trap door on top of it, like so. Nice. Well, there you have it, guys. That is episode number five of how to build Hawkins Middle School from Stranger Things in Minecraft. If you guys did enjoy this one, please be sure to drop a like. That'd be so, so awesome. I really am overwhelmed with uh, the amount of comments and support on the series so far. I log into my YouTube every day and it's just such a cool sight to see. It really is. So thank you a million, guys. I really do appreciate it so much. Um, if you are interested in sticking around for more Stranger Things tutorials, you can do so by subscribing and joining the Assassin Hood today for free, which is awesome. So uh, definitely do that when you can that'd be amazing and uh lastly if you'd like to go ahead and follow me on my social media accounts um i do have all the links in the description below for all the logos you're about to see on the screen so that is awesome as well well i'm gonna let you guys get going because my voice is actually hurting like hell i've been filming so much today <laughs> that my voice is going absolutely croaky i sound i'm gonna sound like kermit by the end of the day it's gonna be awful so i don't want to you know film a kermit voice video so i'm gonna head off but uh, stay safe, everyone. Take care, of course. And I will see you for episode number six coming very, very shortly. Goodbye for now, assassins. Thank you once again.